disrupted a can in event. You disrupted a can in event. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about how I made, well, how I updated the uh, new Spider Man 29 shader. Uh, I've already made a video on this, but uh, th the problem is it's uh, really not that accurate. So uh, this video is going to show you how to do a more accurate version. It's still not quite there, but uh, it's a lot closer to the movie. So. Uh, uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not an actual shading artist, I'm just an animator who kind of likes doing those kind of stuff. So, um, I'm just going to show you uh, how to go from basically this, this is the old one, to this. So, this is a lot more accurate. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, for the model, uh, I've basically just used the Agora Community uh, model. So I'm pretty sure it's the Fortnite model, uh, but I have rigged it in Maya and exported it back to Blender, but that's irrelevant because we're going to do the shader in Blender. Uh, so the first thing we, we can notice is that like the actual texture that's given to us, the um, which is this one. Oh, well, actually, this one is modified, but it's the same concept. Like we're never going to use this one because like all those kind of like lines and patterns uh, we usually don't see them in the movie like th the only time we actually see it. It's like right there So we can see it like a subtle uh, Pattern, but like for most of the movie we never see those kind of patterns Yeah, th those kind of those kinds of patterns, so uh, we're just gonna Do the main shader or how it actually looks most of the movie Um and so if we actually just look at this, like we can see it sort of has like a sketchbook uh, kind of feel like it's actually drawn on. So um, what we're gonna have to do is basically just make an emission map, uh, which is gonna look like this. Uh, you need to keep the, uh, the actual like multiverse watch uh, orange thing uh, still on, but uh, in all the red parts. Um, I've also like I've also modified this uh, this pattern because like if you actually look at the original one, uh, it only has like a red stripe, which is not accurate to the to the movie. So if you actually watch the movie, you can see it has some gaps in it. Uh, once I had like the emission map, I can I could start uh, working on the actual shader. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it actually looks like. So. The actual like blue pattern uh, is this. So what you want, actually want to do is just have a glossy BD, BSDF and mix it with the brick texture. Uh, you can copy those uh, settings because it, it's not going to look like this and like uh, like on first try it's going to look a little bit different. So just copy those uh, settings. And then you actually like this is what controls the actual color. Uh, so I made it. I think it's pretty close to the movie. It's not totally uh, perfect, but it's close enough. Uh, and then you're gonna have to multiply it with uh, an emission, a black emission. So this this is gonna be like the actual shadow. Um, you can uh, look how nodes are made, and then. I uh, just add with a emission node. Well, actually, add those two. So the shadow and then the blue parts with uh, a add node, and then uh, plug it into a difference node with uh, an emission node. So the second emission we're gonna we're gonna have is the actual emission that I showed earlier. So it's gonna be this one. Um, uh, for Spider-Man 2099, he actually has two textures. So he has one for head and one for the actual body. Uh, I'm currently showing the body, but for, the, for head, it's basically like the same process. So you actually look at it. Yeah, it's basically like the same thing. It's just with uh, the head texture. Uh, once you've done that, what you want to do is actually have is have like 
this texture. So what is this texture? This texture is basically like a, it's this one. So all I did was basically trace uh, all the, uh, those kind of like subtle red patterns, but like light red right there. Uh, in the movie, they're actually like yellow, uh, yellow-ish. And so they like sort of do like a subtle glow, uh, except you're not going to have this texture. You actually have to draw them by hand. Uh, if you try to do it with, uh, with, uh, some modifiers, it's not going to work. Uh, they're not going to pick up in the subtle because like the difference, it's so subtle. So, um, you're either going to have to draw it by hand or, uh, you can try to bucket, but in, from, like when I've tried it in Photoshop, it just didn't work. So I just traced it all by hand uh, and it gave me this texture. Uh, once you have this texture, what you want to do is just basically apply another brick texture and just made it and make it really small and you can animate the actual scale. So it actually looks uh, like a hologram, like it does like in the movie, like you can see it's actually animated a little bit. And then when you animate the scale, it, it does sort of do the same effect. Uh, so then you're going to add like another add node. And you're going to do the same thing for uh, the red pattern. So you're going to, you're going to take another, you're just going to take this texture back and then you're going to add a brick texture. So that it actually does like the uh, TV screen uh effect and you can animate the scale once again so it actually looks like it's animated like in the movie if you actually zoom on it uh you can see like this, this sort of like tv effect um uh, once you've done that you can actually add the with the mix node, uh, the actual like reflections. So uh, I, because I have like uh, like a yellow lighting, I had to uh, actually use the yellow. Uh, if you have like a different kind of lighting, I recommend you changing this node. So you just just have to basically just change the color of this node. But uh, since for my scene I have like yellow lighting, I'm just gonna keep it yellow. And uh, yeah, so if, if you ever have like a different lighting, you unfortunately you have to like do the, uh, the reflection uh, by hand because it doesn't pick up naturally. Uh, if somebody knows how to do it, because in the movie he has like, he actually does pick up some highlights, um, but um, it does it like automatically. So now it's blue and uh, if it's different, like there like the the lighting is actually different so yeah you can do that but um I, I don't actually know how to do it automatically so I have to do it manually uh, all the reflection uh, one of my tricks is just have one fixed lighting and just uh, stay with the same reflection and then you just plug it into the material output and uh, it'll give you like a pretty good result. Then what you want to do is actually add a, uh, like a little cell shade. So it basic, it's a, it's a basic, it's a basic cell shade. You, all you need is a, a material outline. Uh, it's an emission shader with uh, alpha clip and back calling. And then you just apply the solidify node with those kind of parameters. And then it, that's going to give you like this subtle line work right there. Now the final thing that's uh, kind of like special is the actual multiverse watch. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have like an, uh, an actual model like in the movie, they actually have like a model with some line work. So if you actually watch at the watch, it has those kind of like those kinds of patterns, but those, this is like actual geometry and I didn't want to model it. So uh, all I did was the little like effect around the watch so you can see like a, a glowing line that's moving 
and all you have to do is basically take uh, another like cell shade in the material uh, so you take an emission node back all alpha clip uh, same technique with solidify but the difference is that you are gonna actually like animate the strength uh, of the uh, of the globe with a brick texture so you're gonna take this and you put the factor in strength and then you're just gonna animate the row the row height in the it's actually gonna work so uh, let me show you you can actually see like there's an actual glow going around the uh, multiverse watch and uh, yeah so that's about it that's uh, how you make the new uh, Spider-Man 29 shader